Hi. I just got done listening to Dream Genie like over and over and over again just so I could tend to this run here. I got a four game winnings total of, I believe, 38,201 dollars. And say hello to Johnny Gilbert. Hi, folks. I'm Johnny Gilbert. Let's just take care of a little business, then we'll get to our game. I mean, I was about to say, as long as this game will freaking load. Sorry, you haven't qualified yet. Yeah, thanks for reminding me. I think I need to win a fifth game at the very least, which I'm about to do. Normal game. So you don't okay. have to tell me that anymore. People out there? Yeah, just me. Type in your name, player one. I don't need to. It's right here. Player one, here's your buzz in key. Space bar. How convenient. Let's get this show on the road. Let's do it. From the Sony Pictures Studios, this is Jeopardy. Here he is, the host of Jeopardy, Alex Trebek. Not sure if it's this game or the PS2 version that's my favorite. I think it's the PS2 Thanks, version, but Welcome this one is still Jeopardy, very good. The first round I mean, very, 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 very good. Tribes. Really? 20th century novel. Okay, that's more like it. Go for the gold. Uh-huh. Mummy, dearest. Oh, really? Popular music. Ooh. And to complete the board... Well, I hope it's music that I know. Canadian cuisine. Okay. Oh, how appropriate, because Alec is Canadian. I said Alec, I meant Alex. Player one, you start us off. Uh, let's start with popular music, for one. Take the A-Train was the theme song of this royal musician seen here. If you'll just watch this, hmm. we'll show you... I have an idea. Player one. Who is B.B. King? No. I'm sorry. Hmm. Anybody. After all, his name is King. This is the correct question. Would never have guessed. 200. No, really, I probably would never have guessed. Critic John Landau called this man rock and roll's future, and later co-produced Born to Run with him. Fire Who one. is the boss? Bruce Springsteen. You're correct. Okay, now we're talking. Pop music for three. This all-girl group began as the Primettes. After signing with Motown, it changed its name to this. Player one. Uh, who are the Supremes? Absolutely. Pick again. Aha. Uh -huh. Don't know how I came up with Supremes. I thought, like, Motown and Supremes, I thought there was a connection between the two. Appropriately, disco giant Nile Rodgers of Chic produced this man's 1983 album, Let's Dance. Player one. And by the way, rest in peace, David. I'm a huge fan. Not really, but... Precisely. I like Ziggy. For sure I like Ziggy. Janis Joplin's gem of a nickname. Hmm. Player three. What was Pearl? Exactly. Uh, Let's okay. Let's try Mummy Dearest for 100, please. It's yeah, get this, this one out of the here. Of the mummy out of the way. That was used on the U.S. stamp. Player two. What mummy? Is Lon Chaney Jr.? Nice Who? Guy, but that is incorrect. Anybody? Who would ever have heard of Lon Chaney Jr.? This is what we wanted. Boris Karloff. I'd like go for the gold for 100, Alex. I can always tell when they're about to change categories. Who spun straw into gold, or he'll take your firstborn child. Player one. Who is Rumple Stiltskin? Exactly. I hope I spelled that right. Uh, you know what? 20th century novels for one. In its last chapter, the hero tells his father, love means not ever having to say you're sorry. Player okay, three. so it's not Hamlet. What is love story? Really? Love story? Yes. 20th century novels for 200? Ralph survives on the island, but Piggy is less lucky in this William Golding classic. I read Player this. One. What is Lord of the Flies? Absolutely. Pick again. Translated from, I believe, Beelzebub. Albert Camus' French work, L'Etranger, has been translated as The Outsider, but more commonly as this. Player three. What is The Stranger? 
Okay, I was gonna about to say Stranger well in done. a Strange That's Land. Twentieth century novels. For four hundred, please, Alex. Or something like that. Norman Mailer was just twenty-five when this naked nineteen forty-eight bestseller, his first novel, was published. Okay, I've heard of him, but I have what no is idea. The naked and the dead? Exactly. Uh huh. I'll okay. Try tribes. For one hundred, please. I hope you mentioned something about the Indians. The Havasupai have been living in a branch of this canyon seen here for over six hundred years. If you'll just watch this, we'll show you the thing. <sighs> oh, okay. Player one. What is the Grand Canyon? Better be. It's the only canyon I've All ever right. heard of. Uh, novels for five. Saul Bellow's title characters include Herzog, Humboldt, and this man. The Rain King. I have a feeling that starts with the letter H Player like the three. rest of them. Who is Henderson? Absolutely. Yep, I Picking was right. Up. I'd like Canadian cuisine, eh? For 100, please. How appropriate since Player 3 also have, party, sounds like she's Canadian. Sur la neige, which is this syrup poured over snow. Player 2? What is maple syrup? Oh. You're correct. Oh, that makes sense. Canadian cuisine, eh? For 200. French Canadians pig out on tortier, a pie traditionally filled with this meat. I have a feeling. What is pork? Absolutely. Pick again. Uh, let's go for the gold. Greek sailors after the Golden Fleece, or another name given to 49ers after California Gold. Player three. What are sourdoughs? Nice try, but that sourdoughs. is incorrect. Sourdoughs? Anyone? The only connection I'm seeing here is the San Francisco football team. Or something like that. Take a look. Here's the right response. Mm-hmm. Argo nuts. Uh, gold for three. In 1996, he asked to run the 400-meter relay to try for a record 10th Olympic gold, but was turned down. I have a feeling. Who is Carl Lewis? Absolutely. Okay. Pick again. Glad I didn't go with my feeling. Give it was Michael Johnson. Give me Dearest. For 200, please, Alex. Come on, play three. Have the a little confidence. The Mummy's Tomb is a top seller in this kid's book series. Okay. Player three. What is Goosebumps? That's right. Pick again. Okay. Mummy Dearest. Well, I don't read Goosebumps, please. so... Ancient Egyptians worshipped these small animals, and now their scans are used to study mummies. No. Player one. Good. What are cats? If I can spell Absolutely. cats correctly. Pick again. Uh, uh, tribes. The Blackfeet lived in these structures and decorated them with paintings of real and mythical creatures. Player two. What are teepees? Mm, I was You're thinking correct. tents or something like that. Tribes. For 300, Alex. Yeah, good idea. Steal the Daily Double? No? The Chinook okay. religion was based around the annual run of this fish seen here. If you'll, if you'll just watch this, this, we'll show you the clue. No. Player two? What is the salmon? Absolutely. Oh, Pick okay. Again. Tribes. For 400. Okay, have a little confidence. Their name from a Sioux term for people of alien speech is shared by the capital of Wyoming. Player one. What is Cheyenne? Okay. Precisely. Hmm, I didn't know it was Sioux. Uh, what do I do? Gold for four. In 1985, Mel Fisher recovered silver and gold from a Spanish galleon sunk off the coast of this state in 1622. What is Florida? Absolutely. Aha. Uh -huh. Again. I know a thing or two about my Spanish conquests. Uh, gold for five. The Incan ruler, Atahualpa, offered this conquistador a room full of gold for his freedom. A what? Is that it? Anyone? I have another feeling. This is what we wanted. Okay, that wasn't my feeling. Uh, Mummy Dearest for four. Of three, nine, or thirteen, the number of tana leaves it takes to bring a mummy back to life in the movies. Now tell me one thing. Player what three. movies? What is nine? Absolutely. Pick again. Okay. Mummy Dearest. 
for 500, Alex. I'm just going to play a three take in the rest of this round over. The royal mummy room in this Egyptian city was reopened after 13 years. No. Player two, what is Cairo? Hmm. Again, that was my feeling, but I thought I'd better to play it safe. That's the spot exactly. That's good, player two. Let's go for Canadian cuisine, eh? For 300. A. Eh? Ooh, another a video clip. A pastry named for this beaver appendage is a specialty of hookers, an Ottawa eatery. If you'll just watch this, we'll show you the clue. Player two, what is the beaver tail? Exactly. Mm, I was thinking Canadian of... cuisine, eh? For 400, Alex. All right, beavers don't have These bills. These lingual organs of cod are so popular in Newfoundland that St. John's has a contest for eating them. Player Lingual, two, what does what that mean? Cod tongues? Oh. Precisely. Okay. Canadian cuisine, eh? For 500, Alex. I wonder if Alex knows anything Answer. about this. Hey, the day the double. Finally. Could you make your wager, please? 1600. Yeah, good luck. Aw, oh, shucks. Malpac Bay oysters are a taste treat from this small island province. Player two? What is Prince Edward Island? Yes, Absolutely. that's it. Pick again. And the final answer of the round. Cherokee history includes the trail of these. What Player are one. tears? Exactly. Okay. That's the end of the Jeopardy round. Let's I'm go at go a uh, surmountable lead, deficit, at least I hope. Player one, you're not far off the lead now. You're in last place, Player three, but you get to start things off in double jeopardy. Seven hundred dollars, but Player three will start this Ladies next round. It's now time for double jeopardy. Yes, I'm looking forward to it, Alex. For the double jeopardy round. Movie monsters. Ooh. Oh wait. Approximate weights and measures. Ah, okay. Presidential nickname. Ooh. Island. There's a wave. And the final category. As in YZ. Mythological crossword clues M. Okay. Wow, not a lot of room in that space there, is there? Let's try approximate weights and measures. I'm gonna rock this round. Two hundred, please, Alex. Little amount of brill cream that'll do ya. Uh three. okay. What is a little dab? Oh really? Exactly. Approximate weights and measures for 400, please. An indefinite size mass that forms in the throat when you're a little choked up. Player one. What's... Oh, shoot. I was thinking the proverb. Not... No, not Forg. Absolutely. Pick again. Oh, really? Uh, nicknames for two. The man from Missouri. Player two. Who was Harry Truman? Would never have guessed. Yes. Presidential nicknames for 400, please. The hero of San Juan Hill, seen here. If you'll just watch this, we'll show you the clue. Ronald Reagan. Oh, okay. Player one. Who is Theodore Roosevelt? Exactly. I heard that he had no relation to Franklin Roosevelt, but I'm not so sure. Old Rough and Ready. Player one. Who is... Wait. Rough and Ready. I'm not sure, but... Oh, regrettably, no. Okay. Player three. Who was Theodore Roosevelt? No. Oh, no, sorry. We just had a question, or a, a clue regarding Theodore Roosevelt. Take a look. Here's the right response. Okay, that I would never have guessed. Uh, nicknames for eight. The hermit author of Palo Alto, seen here. If you'll just watch this, uh -huh. I'll show you the clue. We'll see. I'm thinking of Harding, but Coolidge, but no, no, no. Here's what we were looking for. Hoover. Wait, really? Footage that old exists? I didn't know. James the second. Player one. James K. Polk. No, that's not oh, it no, either. Sorry. Anyone at all? What is going this on here? Oh. Question. 
Yeah, way to keep that thousand away from me. Uh, approximate weights and measures for six. T, it can be exact, or when approximate, rounded, or heaping. Hmm. Anyone at all? Player three. What is a touch? Good guess, but it's not what we're looking for. A nice time to chime in, player. Th <laughs> chime in, player three. If only I could that speak today. We were looking for. A tablespoon. Uh, eight. It's how much or nothing Porgy had. Player one. It's a whole lotta. No? Ooh, no, sorry. What is going on here? Player three. What is plenty? Yes. Oh. I'd like movie monsters for 200, Alex. I could go for some movie monsters. Raymond Burr was added to this 1954 Japanese classic about a big lizard. Player one. And never seen this movie, but Godzilla. Exactly. Monsters are four. A documentary film crew in the Amazon encounters a giant snake in this 1997 film. Player one. I have a feeling. Anaconda. Yes, I did it. That's it, exactly. Exactly. Monsters for six. In 1958, Steve McQueen played a teenager being chased by this giant amoeba like mass. Player one. What is a blob? You're in fine form, so pick again. Oh, really? Uh, Monsters for Eight. In 1935, Elsa Lanchester played this doctor's hair-raising second creation and was meant to wed the first. Player One. Who was... Dr. Frankenstein. We're talking about the doctor here, right? Exactly. All right. Monsters for Grant. George Clooney and Quentin Tarantino wound up in a bar full of these creatures in 1996's From Dusk Till Dawn. Player three. What are vampires? Oh, I was thinking exactly. gremlins. Let's go for There's a Way for 200, Alex. As in YZ? Scientists estimate that this galaxy is 588 quadrillion miles across. Quadrillion? Okay. What is the Milky Way galaxy? Good guess. Wait, That's what? Not what we're looking for. Anyone at all? I said Milky Way galaxy. What are you talking about? This is the correct question. I said Milky Way. What are you talking about? Hmm. Oh, right. It's not I my turn. For 200, Alex. Jeez. It's divided into four historical provinces. Connaught, Leinster, Munster, and Ulster. Player two. What is Ireland? Oh, of course. You're correct. Islands. For 400, Alex. It's the island on which you would find Pearl Harbor. Player two. What is Oahu? Exactly. Oh. Islands for I remember 600, it's being, being somewhere in Hawaii. It's home to Europe's highest active volcano and the city of Palermo. Okay, so not Pompeii. Anyone at all? At least don't think. Wait, one. what is Iceland? Good answer, but sorry. That's wrong. Oh, jeez. Nobody? Now I gotta play catch up to play a three again. Take a look. Here's the right response. Sicily? No! Islands. For 800, please, Alex. In Canada, the Northumberland Strait separates New Brunswick from this princely island province. Uh huh. And now I know because uh, in the last round, player two just answered a daily double clue concerning this island. Prince Edward Island. Absolutely. Pick again. That's more like it. Uh, way for four. It's the Paul Anka song that includes the line, I've lived a life that's full. I travel each and every highway. Player three. What is my way? All right. All right. Let's try mythological crossword clues M for 200, Alex. Touchy golden guy. Five letters. Player one. <sighs> What does it take to... Who is Midas? Exactly. All right. Crossword clues M for four. Quicksilver Messenger. Seven letters. Player one. Who is Mercury? Definitely. Okay, so it could be Greek or Roman mythology. It doesn't matter. Answer? Yay, the finally. Finally uncovered one of the Daily Doubles. And I think I'm going to go all in here. Could you make your wager, please? Hair today, snakes tomorrow. Six letters. Player one. Who is Medusa? Exactly. 
Cross with clues M for eight. Jason pulled the wool over her eye. Five letters. Player two. Okay, this one is stumped. Medea. Medea. Okay. Well done. Yes. Let's do islands for one thousand, please. Nice it's cut off right there. A continent. Player one. What is? Wait a minute. Australia. Antarctica can't be an island. Absolutely. Pick again. There you go. Cross or clues M. Helen's hubby. Eight letters. Okay, this Player I don't who? know. Who is Menelaus? Uh huh. Right you are. And right he How is. About, there's a way for six hundred, please. This House Committee is charged with raising revenues to run the government. Player three. What is the Waybill Committee? Ooh, sorry. Close. But it? no cigar. Hey. This is the correct question. Ways and means. There's a way. For 800, please. Okay, so you definitely won't mention Why Zeta. Morrison, he starred in Stagecoach. Okay, this I don't know. Anybody? Nope. Well, I highly doubt it. Yeah, nobody. Take a look. Here's the right response. John Wayne. There's a way. For 1,000, Alex. Answer? The other the daily, daily double. Make your what, way are you going to go all in here? No, 4,800? Damn, pretty Roman close. Who began its construction, it stretched 350 miles from Rome to Brandisi on Italy's heel. Player two? What is Hadrian's Way? Good answer, but sorry. Ooh. That's wrong. This is the correct question. The Apian Way. And the final answer of oh. the round. Robert Frost had to get out of the woods. I have this far to go before I sleep, he wrote. Oh, the poet. Player three. What is miles? Exactly. Miles to go before I sleep. So, Robert Frost must have been American. Let's see how all the players are doing after the double jeopardy round. And all of a sudden, I have an insurmountable lead. Player one, you've got the lead going into final jeopardy. You're not far off the pace, player three. Remember, it's not over till it's over, player two. Yeah, about that. It's final Jeopardy time. Remember, once I give you the category, you'll still have a few seconds to decide on your wager. Mm hmm Inaugural addresses. Okay. All right, go ahead. Make your wager. Wow, your podium disappeared, Alex. That's an, uh, an accomplishment. Player wager, please. Player three, could we have your wager, please? Player one, please make your wager. Sure, I'd be glad to give you my wager. The final Jeopardy answer is as follows. Good luck, everyone. In his fourth inaugural address, he told us, Today we work and fight for total victory in war. That's an easy one. At least I think it's easy. All right, let's see how everyone did. How many presidents do you know who had four inaugural addresses? Your question, player two. That's it. F. Right, Delano well Roosevelt. Done. And your wager was? I hope it accepts my answer. Yeah, true Player daily double. Three. Nice. Your question. That's not right. I'm sorry. And your wager? Yeah, a couple question marks is never right. Player one. I said Franklin Roosevelt. That's it. Right. Thank you. Well done. And your wager was? A thousand. And hey, how about the Congratulations medals? Congratulations to the big winner here today on Jeopardy. Player one. So I'll add an, another even 10,000 to my total. That brings my five game winnings total to 48,201 dollars. And I'll see you all from the sixth game or a tournament of champions. Who knows? Wait, let me just clarify. You can't play in the tournament of champions yet. You have to qualify. We'll let you know when that happens. You are weird, Johnny. Uh, okay then. I'll just leave. <laughs>